So Torbox was kind enough to send me their Elite Plus controller. But instead of telling you about it, I'd rather just show you. I'm gonna edit a photo with this bad boy using their new dynamic panel feature and Lightroom Classic, and then I'm gonna tell you everything. The good stuff, and the stuff they probably don't want me to say. So here's a photo we're gonna be editing. But before I start, let me show you what makes this controller different. This is the dynamic panel. It's this floating control panel that Toolbox just released. And the beautiful thing about it is, it gives you full screen, unobstructed editing. Notice how my entire screen is just the photo. There's no sidebars eating up my workspace. Everything I need to edit is right here in this panel. And my image gets the full canvas. And the thing is, I can move this panel anywhere I want. I could even throw it on my second monitor if I had one connected. But for now, I'm keeping it right here where I can see it. Now for this edit, I use the Toolbox console app to assign my own custom functions to the dials and the buttons. But the cool thing is, you don't have to spend any time setting this up if you don't want to, because you can always use the pre-configured controls. So let's bring up the exposure a little bit with this style. That's about right. And now I'm just gonna adjust the contrast a bit. And what's super cool is that we have swing micro adjustments. And this is where the physical dial really shines. I can make these tiny micro adjustments, which would be so much harder if I was dragging a slider with my mouse. That looks about good. And then I'm just gonna slightly bring up the shadows. And notice the native mirroring, meaning that the values in the dynamic panel match exactly what's happening in Lightroom Classic. It's real-time mirroring, no lag, and no weird conversions. What you see on the dynamic panel is exactly what Lightroom Classic is doing. So now let's quickly do a minor color adjustment to improve the skin tones, which brings us to our smart color mixer. So when I turn this knob, it allows me to cycle through which color I wanna work with. And we're gonna choose orange so it affects the skin tones. And then I can use the scroll wheel to move through hue, saturation, and luminance vertically. Super intuitive and simple. So let's warm up the skin tones just a tad and maybe bring down the saturation and the blues in the background a little to make the subject pop. And by the way, if I wanted to rearrange these controls, group them differently, or add or remove sliders based on how I personally edit, I can do it. Another cool feature is the intelligent workspace recognition. So let's say I needed to do some masking. As soon as I click the mask tool, the dynamic panel automatically switches to the masking controls. I didn't have to tell it to do that. It just knows what I'm working on and then adapts. And lastly, I'm gonna add one of my custom profiles just to give it that finishing touch, which by the way, are available on my website. So as you can see, we pretty much edited that whole photo with a distraction-free interface. Controlling everything with these physical dials and buttons, not having to hunt through menus and pull sliders. It just lets you focus on the creative work instead of struggling with the interface. And you know what? Let's go ahead and slap a quick vignette on this photo to give it that finishing touch. So that was literally my first edit with the Toolbox Elite. And now that I showed you the features, let me give you my honest opinion about my first experience using in it. Most of the review videos I've seen about the toolbox all ask the same question. Is this going to speed up my workflow? But honestly, I think that's the wrong question. The real question should be, is this going to make my work more enjoyable? Is it going to inspire me and improve my work? And in my opinion, this is a built for creators that have memorized every keyboard shortcut and are trying to blast through their edits at full speed. I mean, if you were to customize the dials and buttons, getting them to do exactly what you want them to do, it could speed up your workflow but I don't think that's the point. I see this more as a tool for creators who want their workflow to be more enjoyable, not just faster. And there's a big difference. Think about street photographers. When they choose a camera, their main focus isn't how many autofocus points does it have or how many megapixels is the sensor. Most of the time, it's how the camera feels in their hand. Does the shutter have the right click? Do the dials feel satisfying? Does picking it up make them want to go and shoot. And the tour box is built with that same philosophy. Instead of just pressing keys, you're turning dials. You're clicking satisfying buttons. And all of that can make editing feel more creative, more hands-on. Like you're actually crafting something instead of just clicking through menus. And honestly, I get it. There's something about physical controls that just feels right. So who's the toolbox for? If you're somebody who cares about the experience of creating, the type of person that buys a mechanical keyboard just because it feels and sounds amazing, or maybe you just really care about the aesthetics of your workspace and want it to look and feel more professional. If any of that sounds like you, then the toolbox might be the perfect addition to your desk setup. And whether you spend most of your time editing photos or editing video, Toolbox has you covered. You could customize every button and dial for Lightroom, Photoshop, Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, 
even iPad apps like Procreate. One set of muscle memory across multiple apps. And for the right person, it's simply more comfortable than doing everything with a mouse. Less repetitive strain and more variety in how you interact with your work. So what about the build quality? The first thing you immediately notice is the weight. With batteries installed, it's 434 grams. That's almost a pound, so this thing isn't sliding around anywhere on your desk, and it feels premium. Now the buttons, listen to this. Every button has a crisp, physical click. The dials, they don't have physical clicks, but what they have instead is haptic feedback, which means that there's a vibration motor inside that creates clicks and resistance as you turn the dial. You feel tiny pulses like a camera dial or controller trigger. And honestly, it works pretty well. The haptic feedback lets you feel the changes you're making instead of just seeing them on the screen. When you're adjusting the exposure or scrolling through a timeline, those little vibrations give you physical confirmation of each increment. And you could customize the strength and spacing of those haptic clicks for fine or for broad adjustments or even turn them off entirely. So to be clear, the buttons have real mechanical clicks and the dials have haptic feedback. Both feel premium, but just in different ways. All right, so now for this stuff that they probably don't want me to mention. The marketing says zero learning curve, but let me be real with you. For the first week or two, you might be a little slower. You'll probably have to glance down at the buttons and dials and you might even press the wrong one sometimes. But here's the thing. If you're the type of person that the toolbox is designed for, then you're gonna adjust quickly because you want to. Think about it. When someone switches from a digital camera to an old school film camera, they're gonna be slower at first too. They have to think about aperture rings and shutter speed dials, but people still do it because they prefer the experience. And same thing here. If turning a dial to adjust exposure feels better to you than pressing a key, then you're gonna stick with it. And after a couple of weeks, it'll click, pun intended. But if you're expecting this to instantly make you edit faster, or if you're a person that just loves keyboard shortcuts, then you may really wanna consider if physical dials and buttons are worth it for you. Now, full transparency, Torbox sent me this device for free, and they paid me to make the video, but they didn't tell me what I could and couldn't say, and I wanted to give you the real picture so you can make an informed decision. So after hearing all of that, if the Torbox sounds like it's for you, then the links are in the description below. And if you appreciate honest reviews and helpful tutorials, then make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for future content. But on another note, if you're just sick and tired of using Adobe Lightroom to edit your photos, then make sure you watch this video next where I compare Luminar Neo to Adobe Lightroom. I appreciate you watching to the end and I'll see you in the next one. It's Fulan Creative signing out. Peace.